right. To close tonight's show is a man we like to think of as the comedian's comedian. Some of the newcomers can be found watching him with their tape recorders playing. He's been around the world for the, more than 10 years, has delighted hundreds of thousands of fans. So please welcome the comedic stylings of Greg Travis. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look, it's a giant roads clip. Hey, pass it around. <laughs> well, here we are, live. You know who's really pissing me off on TV lately is this Robin Leach guy. And what an appropriate name for this <laughs> to begin with. I'm Robin Leach, showing you things you can't afford. <laughs> Making you feel like the lowest of lows. Look at this beautiful home. It's something you'll never have. <laughs> Careful there. And another guy on TV is driving me nuts is Casey Kasin. This voice, you, ever, you know who I'm talking about? The guy who does the top 40 thing? This voice is like, I can't imagine him having a normal life, like coming home after work, having sex with his wife. It's like, honey, I'm home. So take off your clothes and let's make love. But before we do that, I've got to go to the restroom, and while I'm gone, try to remember a sexual position we tried back in 1953. <laughs> Thank you. So, just a quick thought. What if James Mason had been cast as the part of Mo in The Three Stooges? Larry, Curly, I'm going to have to poke you both in the eyes very hard. I'm a bachelor. It used to be kind of nice being a bachelor. But now, well, I don't know. Some people think uh, cigarettes are bad for you. Hell, I'd smoke in my sleep if I get somebody to hold them for me. Because <laughs> I'm a bachelor. Yeah, if I want to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and scream at the top of my lungs, I can do it. Because I'm a bachelor. Nobody to tie me down unless I want them to. <laughs> you do meet a lot of interesting women when you're a bachelor. Looking for that one perfect girl, that one woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. <laughs> I met this one girl that was into gestalt therapy. It was like primal screaming. I didn't know what it was either until she set up one night and let out this like primal guttural scream. It sounded like it came from the pit of hell or something. <laughs> And I was in REM sleep. I had no idea what was going on. I just jumped up and started clubbing the furniture. <laughs> what the hell is, what, what are you doing? Well, when I have a special feeling, I have to release so I can feel the special feeling. Oh. You know, you gave me a special feeling too. Now I have to change my clothes. <laughs> it's not that easy for comics to meet women. I don't think that many women fantasize about going to bed with a comedian. <laughs> that whole Jerry Lewis image comes to mind. Oh, nice lady! Uh, you mean me and you could maybe... Uh, uh. It's not that attractive, really. <laughs> I was reading where they got a new birth control pill for men now. I think it's an interesting and fair idea, don't you ladies? Yeah. I mean, let's face it, it makes more sense to take the bullets out of the gun than it does to wear a bulletproof vest for crying out loud. Of course, I don't know how trusting all guys will be on this matter. Can each you take your pill? Yeah, I'll take a lot of damn pills. Come here. Take your pill. Come here. This is a little poem about being a bachelor. It's called The Bachelor of Babylon. 
Well, Johnny looked cool in his red sports car. When he came into town, he stopped at a bar, said bourbon on the rocks and make it quick. When he turned around, he picked up a chick, said he'd make her a star. When Johnny came, it was time to go. The chick said stay, but Johnny said no. He hit the road at 105. He was flying low with his rock and roll jive, because he was the bachelor of Babylon. Well, he left on Gower, then down sunset. He was checking out the legs and checking out the breast. How about a date, the street lady say? Johnny shifted to third, because he ain't never paid. Cause he was the bachelor of Babylon And out at the beach on a hot summer's day You could see him coming a mile away With black sunshades and a red bathing suit A girl on each arm, he was the cat's king coot An ocean breeze and a sandcastle city's Girls take off the tops and put oil on their <gasps> If he kicks sand in your face, you better leave him alone Cause he was the bachelor of Babylon well, a trip to Las Vegas was underway and 150 was the speed he stayed. Some cop got cute and tried to make him stop. As Johnny passed him, he flipped him off. Well, the helicopters came and the cops got quick, but they couldn't catch Johnny and his four-speed stick. Because he was the bachelor of Babylon. <laughs> But Johnny was shook when he hit the strip Cause he made a wrong turn and caught a dip The car went flying through the casino doors Chips and slots hit the floor Dealers ran and owners swore You see, they knew it was Johnny Cause he had been there before <laughs> Well, Johnny grabbed the dice and rolled them twice He won so much money, the owner got nice He rolled them again and again Johnny could do nothing but roll sevens and win He won the Sands of Sahara and the MGM but when he turned around to collect his hotels, Johnny's ex-wife and her lawyer were there. <laughs> well, she took the sands of Sahara and the MGM. She took his car and his house and what was left of him. And as he stood there naked, he said with a grin, hey, baby, let's get back together again. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a bachelor.